We're at the Bridgehampton Polo Club, where the 16th annual polo season is just about to begin. This is six consecutive Saturdays of great Hampton style and, of course, great polo play. We're going to be talking with some of the attendees about what constitutes Hampton style and how to achieve it at the parties you go to. This is uh, the perfect opportunity, really, just to get as preppy as you can and uh, sport some gear that you probably wouldn't get away with back in the city. What does Hampton chic mean to you? You always know how to make an entrance. Oh. How do you dress in the Hamptons compared to how you dress in Manhattan? I am more casual here in the Hamptons um, because it's, you know, a casual beachy place for me. Casual chic is, is you know, always kind of elegant and look put together, but very comfortable and relaxed at the same time. I guess Hampton style, like any style, is a lot of uh, individuality toss some class in there. I think there's a lot of people wearing some designer stuff, but you throw it in with some vintage clothing. There we go. That's what I'd say. As a dermatologist and surgeon, I believe very strongly in being against the sun. So I wear a big hat all the time. And if I can make a fashion statement at the same time, I do so. Here, everything is legal. You can do anything. You can wear anything you want, any color you want. I think that in the Hamptons, it's very uh, floral happy and pastel happy. And in New York, a lot of people feel that they need to stay safe um, with their solids and their black and their power colors. And here, people somehow feel that they can take a risk that they don't really feel secure enough to take in the city. I think coral and orange has been a trend for the past year or two. Red, pink, you know, uh, purple, bright, bright is back. I think colors are just trendy period this season. I think the brighter the better and neon and I think it's just fun and, and I love color. I'll always be wearing color on the show um, and to events because I'm somebody who loves color and hates always to wear black. Well you wear it well. Thank you. Thanks so much. Enjoy like your match. bow tie. Thank you. <laughs> Bad news folks, game called after only one chucker on account of a wet field. But no biggie because the real action here is never out on the polo pitch. It's in the tents, looking at all the great fashions, the people watching. What did I notice? Lots of orange, lots of pattern, and of course, many great hats. We hope you enjoyed our preview of opening day of Bridgehampton Polo, such as it was, and we'll see you next time on New York Insider TV, the place where we bring you a taste of life on the inside. So you say everything is legal. Is there anything that you think is off limits? Though? There is a very thin line between colorful and ugly. Is it a Stetson? No, I have. I collect different hats. As a matter of fact, this one, let me see. This is a uh, crown. It's a Mexican hat, actually. <laughs>